Hey guys, Ollie here from the Roland DG UK Academy and here's five tips to help you work with the UV printer in VersaWorks. Tip one, using the clip and tile function to reduce print times. The clip and tile function in VersaWorks has a number of uses and can be found by firstly double clicking a job and then navigating down on the left hand side to this icon here, which is clip and tile. In here, we have a few different functions and the clip function is designed to remove white space or resize your artwork. What I'm gonna show you here is how to remove the white space and this in turn will save time when it comes to printing. So the standard behavior of your printer is that when it sees artwork like this, where it has white space in between these gaps here, the print head will still travel from side to side. So what we want to do is remove some of this white space on this side and some on this side here to speed up the overall time of the job. In order to do that, we firstly need to tick in the clip image box up here. And then we can use these little red nodes in the corner here to start to bring in the clip. So I'm just gonna bring them in fairly tight here on either side. Let's just move that one in a touch more. Now, in order to use this on a UV printer to maximum effect, the other thing that you're going to want to do is tick the maintain clipped position box. This ensures that the artwork is locked in the same place. So particularly when working with jig files or anything like that, it means that the white space you've clipped, so say for example, you removed two centimeters, your artwork isn't then nudged two centimeters in that direction. Tip two, using distance mode to print uneven objects. Not all objects that you're going to print with the LEF printer are gonna be perfectly flat. Therefore, there's a mode in VersaWorks to help you deal with this called distance mode. It's designed to help you work either with items that have a slightly undulating surface or those that have a higher portion and a lower portion. Generally speaking, this shouldn't be more than a couple of millimeters for maximum effect. To use distance mode, firstly, we double click our design to open this up. And then on the left hand side here, we're gonna navigate down to the quality settings tab. Now in here, there's a mode called generic, which is used for most of your printing onto flat items. And the one below it is generic distance. In here, you can print CMYK and white inks using this particular mode. Generic distance with special effects just adds in the ability to print gloss as well. The effect that distance mode has is primarily in slowing down the print head in order to put down the ink at a slower rate and therefore take into account those slight surface undulations. The other thing that it does is fires a slightly larger ink droplet which travels better over a longer distance, therefore maintaining your image even on a surface that isn't perfectly flat. Tip three, checking artwork for gloss, white and primer inks. The gloss white and primer inks that are present within an LEF printer are great for adding special effects, for printing onto items that are different colors, for example, with the white inks, and also for priming items that are hard to print. When you've designed with these, to then double check that they're present in your design, you can firstly check this special items section in the middle here. So this design for our iPad flower has the special items WH, which shows that there's white ink within the design, and this little GL box here as well, which shows that there's gloss ink present. If we had primer, we'd expect to see a little PR in addition to this as well. To then double check where those white and gloss elements are, we can double click our design, navigate down to the quality tab in here and within our mode we can change this to white this will then give us a preview in magenta as to where the white ink is if we want to check where gloss is we can drop down to special effects and then we can see on here that we've got our gloss varnish which will be shown in light blue tip four using the overprint function to build up layers of texture the gloss ink within an LEF printer can be built up in layers in order to achieve a texture. It can also be cured in a few different ways as well to achieve a slightly different finish. Either you can achieve a gloss finish, which is nice and shiny. You can achieve a matte finish for a slightly flatter effect, or you can use an emboss setting, which build, helps you build up your ink in layers. To use the emboss setting to layer up your gloss ink, firstly, double click your design, navigate down to the quality tab here, and then under special effects, we need to pick the high quality print setting. And under mode, we can pick embossing in here. The effect embossing has is to almost put down layers of matte varnish and then cap that off with a nice gloss finish on the top. I'm then going to navigate down to select the number of layers that I want to print. And here I'm in the printer controls tab. I'm now going to click use custom settings and I can pick my overprint in here. If I want my texture to be really quite prominent, somewhere between five and 10 layers will work absolutely great. Tip five, 
using multiple job grouping and duplication to build up layers of ink. An LEF printer is capable of producing CMYK and one special ink at a time. So this can be your gloss, your white and your primer, but not a combination of those in addition to the CMYK. Some designs require multiple layers of ink in order to build them up. This iPad design here has white within it and also has gloss as well. So in order to print the white, the CMYK and gloss, we need to send that job through to the printer a couple of times. In order to set this up, there's a new function in VersaWorks called Duplicate and another called Multiple Job Grouping that can make life easier. The first step to take is to duplicate our current design. So let's right click our iPad flower here, drop down to Duplicate and click Duplicate Job. And we're going to use this particular one to output gloss. So let's call that iPad flower gloss. So now let's firstly set up our initial design in here by dropping down to the quality tab and under the generic setting, picking white and then CMYK. Then if I click OK on that design, I'm going to drop into my iPad flower gloss and configure this to print gloss. So drop down to quality, go to our special effects, and then in here, I'm going to pick the gloss varnish. Now, if I click OK on here, I can select my first design, followed by my second, right click, and put these together into a group. If I send these through to my LEF printer, it's then going to print one job and the other straight afterwards, reducing the amount of time needed to print. 